everyone, welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Hope I'm going to get away with doing this video. My camera is nearly out of charge. Um, so I'll just make this a quick one if I can. I want to do a pearl pour. This is a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter ceramic tile. And I'm just going to do a pearl pour, but I want to use the um, global fluoro colors. And I'm going to use a Raldo black as my black that I'm going to pour over the top. Uh, and I'm going to, I've mixed it to a consistency whereby it just runs straight back into the paint. No, it's hard to see. Um, it's almost as thin as a cell activator, just not quite as thin. So my cell activators, I mix up one part paint to about four parts. Flow troll, I think this would be about one to three. One to three and a half, somewhere around about there. I tend to just sort of eyeball that a little bit. Um, all my paints are mixed with Australian Flow Troll. And with the um, Pearl Pour, the idea is you pour the paints into the middle and then you put the black into that, quickly tip it off to each corner. And in that process, with the black running over the other colours, that forms the cells or pearls. So I just wanted to try it with the um, fluoro paints. So this is the global fluoro blue, and I'm going to follow that with the fluoro yellow. And then I'm going to do the fluoro green, because they're all global. Followed by the orange. Beautiful bright colours. And then pink, which is a beautiful pink. And it doesn't really matter how I lay them too much because they're going to be covered in the black paint anyway. And um, this is the tangerine, which is a really pale orange colour. So if I don't put things right in the middle of the turntable, it tends to move to one side a bit. But I do like using the turntable because it just makes it easier to work around. So I've just I have just burst the bubbles with my heat embossing tool. Sorry I'm talking so fast, but I just know the camera's going to run out on me. Um, so now, I think that's about enough paint. I might just put a little bit more of the pink because I really want that pink to show up. If possible, my blue's disappeared. The other colours have run over it, which probably means that the other colours were a bit thinner. So that's why they've run over the top of that. Um, so now I'm just going to pour this black paint into the middle of that. Slowly though. It's always hard to know exactly how much because you want it to roll over the top. It's probably plenty. Whoops. And now I'm just going to quickly tilt that to each side and then back again. Um, so I'll probably be off the screen for a sec. I'll stay on as long as I can. So that was off. And then I come back, bring the weight of the paint back to the center, then off to the other side. Bring my weight back to the oops, back to the center again. Now take it to the other corner. And then off. And set my fingers in the way. Bring the weight back to the middle again. And then to the last corner. Taking the paint off and I can see the pearls starting to come up on the other sides, which is good. This side's taking a bit longer, so that means I probably had about the right amount of paint on there. Sorry, I'm sort of out of um, view. You're just getting a view of my arm. And then always make sure you bring that last corner back to the centre as well, because it's in that rubbing of the paint over the other paints that creates the cells. So that should be about back to the centre now. And I'll just place that back on the turntable. I always make so much mess when I'm working with black. 
So I tend to put the gloves on. Okay. So now I'm just going to wait for those cells to come up or the pearls to come up. They are doing that. I'll hit it with the heat tool in the meantime to encourage them to come up. So they're starting to form. So they usually take a few minutes to um, form. The black has to be able to create those cells. So I'll turn the camera off for a sec and I'll come back in about five minutes and we'll see how we've gone. Okay, so I've been um, gone for about five or so minutes and I can see there's a few more forming. I did hit it with the heat tool again. Um, the, the cells aren't as nicely shaped as when you use metallics. This particular technique is very good when you use metallics um, underneath, particularly the gold, bronze, silver and so on, uh, and other metallics too. Um, but I know the other colours are under here and eventually, you know, some of the cells will come up. Um, but I really want to move on with this and bring up some of the colour from under there. So I'm going to do a little wrecking line with my skewer and just see if I can get any colour to come through or not. So I'll just do one through the black here. Okay, so no colour came through. But I do feel if I hit it with my balloon, I'm going to get some colour. So I'll just uh, go right into the middle there and see what we get. Okay, so I can see I've disturbed the black there and it's allowing that colour to come through. That's great. So I'll just do a few more of those. It's just a different effect again. It's bringing up all these tiny cells, almost like um, fireworks in the middle there. I know there's a lot of colour under there. It's pretty. Seems to be mainly the pink I'm bringing up. Where I sort of smudged it there, that really brought the colour up. So it would be very nice for balloon swipes um, or balloon rolls where you put the balloon on and then roll your wrist off. That would really bring up some magical colour there. It wasn't quite what I was after. I was trying to do more of a balloon kiss. Okay, so they will continue to develop there in the middle. You can see that colour is really under there. And I'd like actually to go into the outside edges too with the um, with the balloon. Let's see what we get. Whoa, that's pretty. Oh, look how pretty they are. It's because I'm pre pressing into where the cells are. That's really, really pretty. So I'm quite liking this technique of um, doing the pearls and then ballooning into them. Now if I double dip into these ones, that will bring a bit more colour up now. Oh, look at that. Just a case of breaking through that layer of black.
I'm just seeing how we've mainly got the um, pink and blue in the middle and mainly the green and orange around the outside. I guess that's how I laid the paints down. Oh, that's nice. It's always a case of knowing when to stop when you're doing balloon work. You tend to want to keep going. Oh, well, that was worth doing. I think we'll get one in here too. Very pretty. Going in the second time seems to be working well because there's so much black on there. You need to sort of get through that black layer to bring the colours up. See that one come up so much better the next time. This one will too. Yep. Definitely coming up better the second time I hit them. Or kiss them, not hit them, kiss them. Right. Well, I really love that. So is she going in again and again? Oh, that was worth it though. Hit that one three times or kissed it three times and that really brought that up. Oh, lovely. So I could sit here playing with this all day, um, which I don't want to make the video go too long. So, um, I think I might just be brave and leave that there. So it's lovely with the pink and the blue in the middle, and then we've got the green and yellow and orange, the two oranges coming around the outside. Um, I'd love to do some wrecking lines through it. I'm a little afraid to do that because I might just wreck the whole thing then. So sometimes you're better off just liking what you've got and walking away which is what I'm going to do. So I shall now bring you guys down for a close-up. So here we are, back for a close-up of this very pretty little trivet, which was, of course, a uh, pearl pour with the global fluoro colours. And as you can see, it's turned out really beautiful, in my opinion, with these lovely flower fairies. And we've got that bit of um, the pearls around the edges. But look at these beautiful, beautiful little fairies where I've um, used the balloon work over the top of the pearls. Another beautiful one over here. And of course, where I've done the balloon kissing in the middle where it was completely black, those colours were underneath. And um, they've come through beautifully. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So that's that for that one today, guys. Hopefully you'll have a go at doing that. Um, I really enjoyed this. And I think that's a very pretty piece. And that someone will love that as a trivet. Um, getting all these things ready for presents for the end of the year. So my family will be so thrilled to all get lovely trivets. Um, one for their bedroom and one for the bathroom and the kitchen. And they'll all be giving a communal groan right now. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm having fun creating them. That's the main thing. All right, so I will see you all be back here soon at Studio 33 Art by K. And until then, stay safe, enjoy your painting, chill out, relax as much as possible, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.